What is up everybody and welcome to another video. We're on our way to the airport, uh, although it is not the airport you're probably thinking of. We're driving up to the Deer Valley Airport. So as many of you guys know, I am a commuter. I commute to Las Vegas to pick up my trips. Well, I have a trip today out of Las Vegas and uh, instead of jumping on the airline to uh, commute up, uh, because it looks pretty full, uh, we have the opportunity to take the Cirrus, the Green Hornet on our way to uh, Henderson and basically commute that way. So, let's go. Well, it looks like uh, 9th through the 10th of January. We'll be recoding the uh, the ramp, so we'll be back by then. Now, we've talked about commuting uh, briefly in the past. Um, you know, if you're new to the airline or you're a junior, just upgraded junior captain like myself, the chances are you're not going to be out of your home domicile. Or if you just intend to live basically where there isn't a domicile for your airline, you have that opportunity. The only thing is, is you got to get yourself to work kind of on your own. Now, there's three different ways to do it. Uh, one way is to drive. It's one of the simplest ways to do it. Uh, it also helps if you live close. For me, it would be about a four and a half hour drive. Not really looking to do that. What most people do are they basically take the airline and uh, whether it's with their own metal or on a off line airline, uh, you know, an airline not on your own. Um, and there's different priority scales that go along with that. Um, for me at Southwest, uh, you know, being an employee, I get priori priority when I do fly. Uh, however, I still compete with everybody else that's showing up there. Um, there's several different ways to look at the loads. I looked at the loads uh, this morning and uh, they didn't look good. Uh, honestly, plus I wanted an excuse to, uh, to fly the Green Hornet. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, you, you could look at the loads, see what the loads are doing. If, uh, if it's pretty full, then you need to basically look at different airlines uh, to get where you're going, if you're gonna use the airline. Um, several different apps out there to help you out. Um, ID90, those, those things will show you kinda how, generally how good the uh, loads look. Obviously, uh, this is just after the Christmas holiday and it's a mess out there. I don't, I don't think I could understate it uh, at all. But, um, so I knew it was gonna be a challenge getting into uh, Las Vegas. So the third way to do it is to take your own airplane if you have one. So, hey, hashtag goals, right? If you don't have one out there, I will tell you, I'm not special. I have an airplane. You guys can get one too. Uh, just hard work, hustle. I mean, look, if, any, if anybody can do it, or if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, so maybe that provides you a little bit of motivation. I hope it does because uh, you know, I look to other guys and what they do and how they have achieved and you know, I'm not done yet. Neither should you. So anyways, yeah, flying your own airplane. We just pulled up to the hangar and uh, we're going to pull the Green Hornet out. And uh, we are at uh, Deer Valley, in case you guys are wondering, which is not usual. Uh, I usually keep my airplane in Scottsdale. Uh, I had to get some maintenance done on it. I have a hangar up here in, uh, in Deer Valley, which uh, was for another airplane. I'll let you guys in on that. Um, but uh, we are parking the Green Hornet in there today and uh, we're gonna take it to Las Vegas. So just pulling up, let's go. As you know, we keep our airplane in Scottsdale. And uh, 
We had the opportunity to bring it to uh, Deer Valley, just uh, get some maintenance done uh, on the West Valley and then put it here kind of a preposition just in case I had to take it over to Las Vegas, which I do. Um, so this is actually kind of nice. Um, being in Scottsdale, being in a, a big, large corporate hangar, uh, there's not that sense of community that the airport has here, especially in Deer Valley. I know lots of airports out there, GA airports. Um, there's a community out here and uh, you feel it, man. I was, I was getting gas in it when I brought it in and saw someone with a Varga and we just started chatting it up and you know, it's just, it's a great feeling. Um, it's part of the reason why I like GA. Uh, is the community. So anyways, uh, I gotta grab, I gotta grab this thing and uke it out and uh, looking at the weather, the weather in Las Vegas isn't the greatest. So uh, I have some TKS fluid. Thanks, Todd. Todd saved me on this one. Uh, I actually ran out because I, I gave some TKS fluid to another friend and uh, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to order more. So Todd hooked me up. Thanks, Todd. Shout out to you. Uh, I appreciate it. You, you are helping me make this happen today. You know, some of the benefits to having your own hangar is you get to keep all your gear and to include bicycles and all that other stuff to get around the airport right in your own hangar. So it's got that little personal touch. Uh, you can hang stuff up. We haven't done, done much yet to it, but um, it's just another option. Uh, it kind of makes it your own instead of sharing a big hangar with a bunch of different airplanes. You know, this is just your hangar. You get some lawn chairs, hang out, and uh, kind of meet your uh, hangar mates that are out here. You know, one of the things I did talk about is if you are going to fly your airplane um, to uh, anywhere, obviously you have to do a weather brief and check out what the weather is doing. Uh, in pulling up my brief, I found out that there is a little bit of weather moving in to uh, Las Vegas. So some of the stuff uh, you could see is uh, just kind of far off on the uh, central coast of California right now. It's nothing convective, but man, it's uh, it sure is a lot of rain um, and it is moving into Las Vegas. So if I pull up the Las Vegas TAF, I could see that on my arrival time, oh, it just updated again. So actually my arrival time, it shouldn't be too bad. Gusting to 18, it is gonna get gusty to 28 a little bit later on in the day, but just showers in the vicinity. So nothing real bad. There is a freezing layer uh, when I got the, the brief from seven to 8,000 feet, but it looks like we'll be out of the cloud, so we'll be good. But just in case, I am gonna fill the TKS fluid. Now on the Cirrus, the leading edge of the wings, the edge on the horizontal stab and the vertical stab and then the uh, prop all has uh, TKS fluid that comes out runs down these lines up onto the windscreen and the windscreen has these two points there that spray out TKS fluid. TKS fluid is very heavy it's about 10 pounds per gallon and right now I have about two gallons in there so um, typically full is about eight gallons I'm gonna fill it up probably not full but enough to get me home uh, because this weather system is going to be there when I'm done with my trip. So a little bit of pre-planning. Uh, I don't want to be caught out there and be in a situation I don't want to be in. Kind of like San Diego. <laughs> so we're going to pre-prep pre that and uh, make sure that we're, we're all set to go uh, in case anything unforeseen comes up. Well, so what happens. Party foul. Apologize for that. I had to launch really quick. Uh, I would say it was an active air scramble. Uh, pulled the airplane out. Scheduling call. They said, hey, we got a trip. We know it's within uh, you know, a short call. Can you make it? So I said, yep, I'd be there in two hours. So okay, uh, we're an hour out of uh, Las Vegas right now. En route. Um, so sometimes that happens. You know, things are, uh, things are kind of dynamic right now at the airline so we're uh, we're beat feet maximum forward speed on our way to Henderson we'll grab an uber head to the airport make that timing and then uh, head off they changed my trip so no longer am I going uh, I was supposed to go to Atlanta now uh, I'm gonna overnight I believe in uh, San Diego and then the next day tomorrow we'll go ahead and take the airplane out to Honolulu and then 
I believe it was Maui. I got to double check the uh, deal. But then I stay uh, okay, pretty much one o'clock, ten miles out in West Hawaii the whole time. So happy to show you guys that. I'm excited because that's my uh, my first ETOP trip without you know other than my checkout. So uh, I got to do some review and make sure I'm on my game because yeah, it's been a minute and uh, hopefully my FO has been doing it a while. <laughs> but uh, either way, we got a lot of support. We'll make sure it works out. But uh, anyways, exciting news on that. So now we're just going to head over to Henderson again. Maximum port speed. We're doing uh, 163 knots over the ground. We got 10 knot headwind, unfortunately. But uh, you know we'll do what we can. Uh, the weather is actually really nice. It's supposed to get not nice uh, in Vegas uh, a little bit after uh, now a little bit in the evening. But as of right now, it's pretty good. It's fun this time commuting via the Cirrus, the Green Hornet. I'll show you guys the landing. You know, obviously I can't do that stuff in the 737, the, the flying stuff. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy it on, on this, uh, even though it is just the Cirrus. But, yeah, it's fun anyways. Uh, look for the next video. Uh, I'll show the Hawaii flight that I'm about to do. And then uh, we'll probably throw another video on, uh, on the commute home. So appreciate it, each and every one of you. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. We'll talk to you later.